Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at this slow computer. This is a compact Presario 6000, well more specifically, it is a Presario 6016US and uh, this has an AMD Athlon XP, I'll, uh, I'll show you more about that when we actually boot it up. But this is a pretty slow computer, but you'll see why in a second. We have a DVD drive. I believe it's a burner too. A CD drive, floppy drive, two USB ports, power and hard drive, lights. Then on the back, we have the power supply, PS2 keyboard and mouse, four USB, I think 1.1 ports, Serial, parallel, VGA, Ethernet, and audio in and out and microphone. So let's go ahead and unscrew this, take a look at the inside. And it looks very generic. We got the modem. It's kind of dusty in here. The CPU cooler with a really pathetic looking fan. Maybe that's all it needs. There's our uh, 40 gigabyte IDE hard drive. And the uh, capacitors look pretty good on the motherboard. So let's replace my main computer with this and see how it goes. Okay, so the reason why this thing is so slow is because I installed Windows 7 on it. Windows 7 starter, I believe. And... Uh, I had to use a DVD drive for that because the USB is not bootable on this computer. So I had to actually burn a DVD and put it in. And then it seemed to work. It was very, very slow. Well, it still is, but it took a really long time to install. And uh, yeah, this, this is not ideal for Windows 7, but back in the day, I mean, if you needed to upgrade to the newer version of Windows, you could with this old computer, but... Barely. So let's go ahead and power it on and see how long it takes. It gets very noisy. Okay, so here we are booted up, so let's take a closer look at the specs. So this is running an AMD Athlon XP 1800 plus 1.53 gigahertz, 512 megabytes of RAM. I believe this system could go up to one gigabyte. Let's look in the device manager. There we go. I didn't bother to install the driver for the modem because, well, this is a temporary install and I don't plan on using it. We have a NVIDIA GeForce 2 integrated GPU, which I think is a little faulty. I'll show you why later. And the audio is Realtek AC97 audio. Now, I had Windows 2000 originally on this computer, even though it came with XP, and I was thinking, okay, maybe the driver is glitched and it because it only came out of the right speaker. And I was like, okay, whatever. So I'll install a different operating system. And Windows 2000, as you would expect, ran great on this thing, but sound still comes out of the right speaker only 
So I think there's something wrong with the built-in audio. I think a sound card would fix this, but it's just kind of unfortunate. And I think the graphics are faulty too, because sometimes when I boot it up, there's weird artifacts on the screen. That could also be something to do with the RAM slot too, because if I mess with those a little bit, sometimes it goes away, but I don't know. This computer is probably just faulty and who knows. Anyways, I have this USB Wi-Fi adapter so I can actually get this online to some extent. So let me plug that in. This device can perform faster. Well, not really. And I installed the driver with the CD it came with and it works just fine. This is actually what I use on my main computer to get Wi-Fi on it because it doesn't have Wi-Fi built in. So I have Mozilla Firefox and as you can see, the logo actually looks like a fox and not some weird whatever the heck we have now because it's an old version. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now the reason being that I'm installing, not installing, why I have an old version on here is because this CPU does not support SSE2. So I can't even install MyPal on here, the browser that's somewhat up to date for XP. So you're very limited with what you can do in the modern world with this thing. Now, I'm not sure how that would affect using Linux on this, but as for Windows, this probably isn't much more than a retro machine as you would expect. I mean, it's a pretty old computer. Not sure exactly how old. I'm guessing 2002, maybe 2003. But anyways, let's, I, this is Firefox 48, I'm pretty sure. 45 or 48, where exactly do I go to see? Options. And you can keep an eye on the CPU over here, which likes to be at 100. And the RAM likes to stay pretty close too because, well, half a gig is not very much for Windows 7, especially for being on the internet. So where would I find that? Under Advanced? General? I don't know, this is either 45 or 48. So let's just go to google.com. And Google turns 25 today. Their, lo their old logo looked so much better. So that loaded up pretty fast. The computer is getting kind of loud. I'm not sure if it's the power supply fan or the CPU fan. I would think it'd be the CPU fan, but I don't know. But it gets noisier and noisier the more you use it. So, um, I don't know. Let's go to old Reddit because that's a simple website that'll work on this. Kinda, I mean, it's not fast, but it's a nice older looking website that'll render nice on here. And yeah, this is perfectly usable. Let's go to a couple other websites. Um, Low and Mac. And you get these quite often, just because it's an old version. So it doesn't get modern security standards, I guess. And there we go. There's a low end Mac. I don't think YouTube works at all. You don't even get, please update your browser. It's just a blank screen. So that's out of the question. Not like it would play good anyways. What if we just go to compact.com? I know they don't exist anymore, but what would come up? I would guess HP, because HP bought them out. Doesn't look like anything. Let's look up something on the old net. Let's go to compact.com. Let's go to 2003. 
Now running Windows 7, oh, doesn't exist. Now running Windows 7 on this setup feels perfectly normal since, well, this is what my main computer ran for a while until I upgraded to the Optiplex you saw earlier. And uh, I mean, other than arrow being off and only be able to have this wallpaper just because it's running starter, it feels perfectly normal. In fact, it's a little lackluster feeling running this system in the setup because I feel like it should be way faster. And yeah, this is only a 32-bit computer as you would expect. There we go. So yeah, that's a look at Windows 7 running on this old computer. Now, XP is definitely going back on this computer, but I might try Vista first, just for the heck of it. Now I'll show you the big drawback on why this is just not working well. So let's try to run a game. And I won't, I won't even try to run Grand Theft Auto 3. Let's just go into the games that come with Windows. So let's open up, I don't know, Spider Solitaire. And it blue screens. So I used a program called Snappy Driver to install the drivers on this. And I don't know if it installed a bad driver or if Windows 7 just doesn't like this chipset. If you guys have any idea why, please let me know in the comments down below. It just doesn't make sense why it does that. And it also does that when trying to play any local video. I was able to get some videos kind of to play like through Reddit and stuff, but I don't understand why it's doing this. I'm guessing it's a graphics issue. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. If you'd like to see me install Windows XP on here or Windows Vista or even Linux, please let me know if you would be interested in seeing that. And with that, I appreciate you guys for watching. Bye.